European trade. Trade and industry rapidly grew to provide services for rising populations. Merchants and bankers thrived and found new influence from meeting society's needs. The early Middle Ages was a time of growth for Europe. The population was increasing, and more land was cultivated to grow food. This led to surplus produce for trading. Towns grew larger with regular trade fairs in places like Troyes, Lyon, Antwerp, Kiev, Frankfurt, Leipzig, London, and Krakow. River links and shipping routes were busier. Instead of exchanging goods, money was used, and increasingly people went to businesses for profit. Jewish traders, Knights Templar, and certain business families specialized in money lending and the safekeeping of valuables. Italy was the richest part of Europe. Venice and Genoa were large independent seaports and banking centers buying spices, silks, and other luxuries from the east. Goods from Asia came through Byzantium, Egypt, and Syria, and from Africa throughout Tunisia and, and Morocco. They were traded for cloths, furs, hides, iron, linen, timber, silver, and slaves. Most of Europe's money was silver, but the Asian countries traded in gold. This caused problems, so the, uh, the Templars, Jewish traders, and Italian merchants invented banking with bills of exchange and promissory notes, which could be used instead of cash. Industries grew in the Rhineland, Germany, uh, northern France, Frankfurt, and England, importing materials like copper, alum, wool, and charcoal, and exporting goods and clothes. The growth of commerce. A new class of merchants and skilled craftsworkers appeared. Merchants grew rich through buying and selling, but they also risked loss because of highway robberies or piracy on the high seas, where cargoes and fortunes could be lost. Trading companies, cities, and organizations like the Hanseatic League in the Baltic Sea worked together to protect trade and opened offices in ports and marketplaces. To protect their trade, the Venetians and Genoese became Mediterranean naval powers. Around 1350, in Genoa, insurance services were offered to protect traders against loss and bankruptcy. Banking families such as the Fuggers in Osberg, Germany, and uh, the Medicis in Florence, Italy, uh, grew in wealth and influence. A new commercial order was developing, and kings, nobles, and clerics slowly lost power as they grew dependent on merchants and indebted to bankers. Soon, this new class began to influence the decision of kings.